<laughs> What's in frog morph stew? I think frogs. I'm going to go with frogs and maybe some uh, tomatoes. I never heard of that before in my life, and I'm from South Carolina, and I never heard of frog morph stew. Happy for frog morph stew. Here at uh, the Steam Oyster and Steakhouse, we specialize in frog morph stew, also commonly called low country broth. You want to start with your potatoes about a quarter inch thick to make sure that they cook thoroughly and it takes too long, so you want to get those into your pot first, at least 10 minutes prior to your other ingredients. You want to follow it by adding your sausages and your corn. Another 10 minutes to cook and you get up to temperature, you want to finalize it all by adding your onions and your shrimps. Uh, one important part of cooking frog more stew is making sure that your shrimps don't stay down for more than a minute. Once they're pink, they're ready to go. If you leave it in there, you're gonna ruin your stew shortly after that. All right, this is all of the ingredients. We stew it on the stove, we cook it for about 30 minutes. We bring it out, it's in a broil. We add our special seasoning, which is a combination of Old Bay spices and a couple of spices that I can't mention because we only use it here at the steamers. Contrary to what the name suggests, there are no frogs in the Frogmore stew. So if you have it in the low country, come enjoy a taste of it with the Frogmore stew, a low country cuisine.